We think of our residents as our legacy. They're the future of our specialty. They're the future of our program. I think what we're looking for are people who see themselves as future leaders in cardiothoracic surgery. Our trainees have gone on to be the leaders in academic cardiothoracic surgery. The resources available for academic work at the University of Michigan is a second to none. The expectations are high from the start, which as a junior resident uh, can be very intimidating, but the amount of support is really impressive. We have opportunities for basic science, for translational work, for clinical outcomes work, for innovation. You come up with an idea and there's support and funding to help you make that idea a reality and, and really develop your niche and your focus area. When I initially came here, I wasn't sure what my future practice would look like. So between cardiac and thoracic and congenital, there's really not much that we don't encounter and are not exposed to. Our trainees see everything, and that's, I think, very unique. So one of the things I love about Michigan is we have two residents per class, and so that creates a really big residency cohort, and you have a buddy with you throughout all of your years of training. This field expects a pretty amazing amount of availability. You're available to your patients and to your faculty and to your nurses and staff, but we're also available to each other, and that's not really something I appreciated or expected until I got here. I feel like any given day I can pick up the phone and call any of the residents if I want to just debrief about a tough case or um, a challenging patient that I had to deal with. The culture here is incredibly unique. I think that the environment uh, and the support that the trainees receive is unparalleled. One of the things that I think we have a unique opportunity to provide here is not a mentor, but an entire group of faculty who are willing mentors. We get to work with um, operative PAs who teach us a lot. You get to interact with our floor team, NPs and PAs. So you're working with, interacting with a whole group of different providers and folks that um, you, know, you get to share relationships with over the many years that you'll be here. The University of Michigan training program has a very strong clinical background for residents to train both in terms of the traditional opportunities with coronary and valve cases, but also many of the atypical or unusual high-risk cases that we get from throughout the state and the country. We're one of the few programs, I think, where you have an amazing congenital cardiac experience, adult cardiac experience, and adult general thoracic experience. We have experts in every single area, so if you're interested in that field, you can have the opportunity to work with leaders in that space. During the research years, what's very unique about our program is we're one of only a few programs in the country that have a T32 training grant. What that means is as a resident, you can come in and work in any type of research that you want, all of it will be funded on an NIH grant. One of the big strengths of Michigan and something that I was really drawn to as an applicant was their perinatal policy. These are quite often the years that are you know, most common to be growing your families and to be able to have good support in terms of perinatal coverage, um, as well as leave of absence policies for both our male and female trainees. It's something that we recognize is, is going to happen during clinical time. It's eight years of your life, and um, it's important that you don't put life on pause during residency. I love living in Ann Arbor. For me, it's an ideal size of a city um, insofar as it's got just about everything I need from a city. We uh, try to have social events about every month or so that we get together outside the hospital and try to take a break from kind of what's happening here and try to enjoy stuff outside. We have parents, we have people who are married, who are not married, we have athletes, Olympic hopefuls, we have people who are artists and writers, innovators. Um, it's a really cool, diverse group of people with one really, really important thing in common. And that's excellent care for their patients and an incredibly high standard and expectation of themselves and of others. We are looking for applicants who are willing to put in the hard time and effort to be great clinicians, and great researchers and great partners. Becoming national and international leaders in cardiothoracic surgery. 
When you finish at the University of Michigan CT training program, you will know how to operate, you will know how to take great care of patients, you will know how to be a phenomenal academic CT surgeon.